three years. Awesome. Sure. Thanks. Um, so what I, um, we, we're short on time, but uh, what I wanted to go over is um, uh, using Nation Builder with uh, another service uh, that integrates directly with Nation Builder. Um, it's an add-on app. Uh, it's called Call Hub. And um, in a minute, I'll show you the background of it. But what I really like about Call Hub is that it's affordable phone banking um, without all the equipment. Uh, what that means is that uh, if your campaign is limited on resources, let's say you are running a trustee campaign, uh, often trustee campaigns don't have uh, offices like city councilor campaigns can, uh, unless you are partnered with a city councilor campaign, um, just because you, you just don't have the budget or resources uh, that they do. Um, and so, uh, you know, if you're, if you're wanting to do phone banking, this is a great option because you can actually do phone banking. Uh, all of your volunteers can do phone banking from their own phones from their own home. Um, and it really creates that uh, different layer that campaigns don't usually see. And when I was in BC working on the provincial election there, we actually had a lot of people from across the country uh, phone banking uh, from their home for the BC uh, election, uh, which was really cool, really amazing. My first experience uh, kind of doing that. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's really one example. The other um, thing that you can do with this is have an auto dial function. Um, so uh, what that means is that your phone bankers aren't sitting on the phone uh, as it's ringing. And, uh, you know, if they get busy signals or not in services or anything like that, um, it's the auto dial function skips all of that and only uh, gives them to people who are actually going to answer the phone. Um, so that's great. Um, there's also an answering machine audio drop that I'll show you. Um, and basically what that does is the candidate uh, themselves can record a message. Uh, and then that saves your phone bankers from having to leave those messages. It would leave the message automatically uh, if the person doesn't, uh, doesn't pick up with the candidate's message. And then, you know, as usual, you can have the scripts and the questions and, um, and whatnot. So um, let me try to share my screen here. Yeah, Tyler, I've made you a co-host there, so let me know if there are any issues with that. Awesome, yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, this is awesome. So can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Awesome. So uh, this is when you first log into Call Hub, uh, this is what you'll see um, at the top here. You'll see zero dollars. So basically how Call Hub works is you will uh, you will auto you will uh, deposit money uh, from your credit card into Call Hub, and then that's what it uses to, uh, so it doesn't bill you later, it does pre-bill you um, based on uh, your campaign. Uh, so um, uh, based on the number of phone numbers that you have. So uh, just a quick overview, I won't go through Call Hub little by little because you know, Call Hub themselves could do that uh, with you. Uh, but I just want to show you some of the great uh, examples of what's possible. So um, there's agents here, so you can create all of the various uh, volunteers that you're going to have uh, to give them access, and you can give them access to specific lists. Um, and you can even say that uh, uh, you can even uh, specify which times they're able to make phone calls. So if they're making phone calls from home and you want to ensure that no phone calls are, are coming from your campaign after, uh, you know, 8.30, uh, 9 o'clock is the cutoff, but uh, let's say you, you, you know, you want to stop them at 8.30, uh, you know, you can stipulate that within Call Hub. So uh, those timings are possible. Um, and so then whenever they log in, they'll just see a notice to say, you know, can't phone bank yet or it is possible now. Um, you can also create teams of, of agents and, uh, and have them all working on a, a specific list. Um, let's say you break them up by poll. Um, you have numbers here. So um, this is your campaign numbers, not uh, <laughs> your contacts. That's, that's next. But you can actually have it coming from your campaign phone number. So um, as you're dialing out or as your volunteers are dialing out, regardless of whether they're in a campaign office or whether they're at home, the, the number is masked with the campaign number. Um, it's really cool how it works. So um, that's your contacts, of course. Uh, so you just import all of your contacts. Now this is where Nation Builder comes in. So if you go up here and you go to import contacts, you're actually able to select a list that you create from uh, Nation Builder. So these are, this, is, this is just, everyone has the test, uh, Call Hub test phone book. 
Um, but this one is one that we've created specifically because we're actually going to be doing a data cleanup through Call Hub. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second as well. Um, so you can either do that or you can select uh, a new phone book and you can um, choose where you're importing the contacts from. Um, there's also, uh, sorry, up here is integration. So you'll want to first uh, uh, link your nation builder to, uh, to Call Hub. Um, and then once that's done, then Call Hub will have access to all of your lists and you can import those lists. Um, and then in here, you can also create phone books. So if you uh, wanted to create separate uh, lists of people, uh, again, by poll or whatever it may be, however, however geographically uh, you'd want to do that, um, you, could, uh, you could do that um, with just the numbers that are imported. Audio files is just a quick, uh, just to show you, this is where you would upload your audio uh, if the candidate uh, is doing a recording. Uh, they also have what they call what they call celebrity recordings, but basically this is useful. Uh, in the last campaign, we had um, you know endorsements from Kristen Wong Tam, um, who's a city councilor, and we also had um, a few other endorsements go out uh, with by what, what we would call in Canada robocall. Uh, and so what celebrity recordings allows you to do is tell the person, "Hey, Kristen, uh, just so you know, our system's going to call you. Is it okay if they call you tomorrow?" Um, and uh, and then you can record your message directly without having to be here face to face with us. Um, so it'll actually just call their phone number and then they can record using their own phone. Um, so this is some great, uh, just an overview of Call Hub quickly. Um, I, I know it's kind of a, a very quick one, but um, it's just because I, I don't want to run out of time and I want you to have time for questions. Um, so Call Hub also allows you to have several different campaigns and the two that I find most useful and um, and I'll say uh, kind of why is obviously the voice broadcasting. So voice broadcasting is um, basically an endorsement or you know that, that robo call that we were talking about. So it can be done by the candidate, it can be done by someone else who's endorsing them, um, whatever it may be. Um, so that's all a voice broadcast is. Um, for uh, call center, um, it's a, the, the traditional phone bank. You have your volunteers log in, uh, whether it be you have a line of computers in your campaign office with phones beside them, or you have people using their cell phones. Um, either way, um, that's the traditional phone bank. And then um, there's sign up campaigns. Um, they're not really worth uh, using unless you're not using Nation Builder. The reason I say that is because if uh, if you start a, a sign-up campaign, really all it means is that you have a phone number that people can text in uh, and get added to your event or to your list. Nation Builder already has that functionality built in, so it wouldn't be um, it wouldn't be advantageous to run that through Call Hub and pay per text. Um, in Nation Builder, uh, I believe you can get a, a, a set of texts uh, for free, uh, depending on your list size, obviously. Um, and then SMS broadcasting. Um, is very similar to uh, Hustle. Um, and Hustle uh, is basically a one-to-one -one text communication, um, but using uh, bulk, uh, what would you call it, bulk methodology. So basically, you can mass text a bunch of people, and as they reply, you're actually able to reply to them individually, whereas you're not able to do that through Nation Builder. So I also find SMS broadcasting to be very useful. And, uh, and again, all of uh, these three features, so voice broadcasting, call center, and SMS broadcasting, we're going to be using for our campaign uh, because we really want to touch base with people on an individual level um, as opposed to, you know, always the text blast. Um, and, you, you know, when you do set those up, you want to make sure that they, um, that they don't sound, uh, you know, uniform. Uh, I've gotten so many text messages from a few campaigns uh, already, um, and uh, it's just they're so uniform that I'm just kind of like, okay, I've, I'm I'm starting to ignore your text messages now because I know that it's a it's just a, a broadcasting campaign that you're using. So um, let's say we select uh, the call center. Um, this is where the magic happens. So you're actually able to again, you you select your campaign ID, um, your caller ID. You can have multiple so you can have more than the one but typically again campaigns usually only have the one um, you can do the audio drop for the answering machine as i said and then this is where you would put your script now you can make your script uh you can you know customize your script uh, uh create 
uh, you know, sections, bolded, whatever it may be. You'll want to call this this position in there. Um, this enables you to say, kind of, if somebody does not answer, how should we mark it? So, mark it answered, bad number, do not call, left message, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, that's really important to have. So, we'd add that. And then you have your nation builder surveys. So, similar to what um, Chris was just talking about, um, you know, nation builder surveys sometimes uh, are great, sometimes they're not. But for this, you'd want, you know, very simple questions. Will you, uh, you know, after the script of Chris Moy stands for this, yada, 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 um, will you be supporting him this election? Yes or no? And so that would be one example of a question in the nation builder survey. Um, another one could be, uh, okay, great. Thanks for your support. Would you like a lawn sign? Um, great. Would you like to make a donation? So all of those would be in the survey. And then um, the great thing about pushing it back to a, a survey um, within nation builder is that your, the data that you capture um, during the phone call then gets pushed back to Nation Builder, uh, along with the call disposition. So all of these are uh, the Nation Builder call dispositions, um, but you'd also be able to push those back using, um, uh, using the uh, survey. And then in the survey in Nation Builder, you can have tags for each individual question and answer that they provide. So if they say, yes, I'm supporting Chris, then you can have a tag that says support, yes. Uh, if they say no, you could have a tag that says support, no. Um, all within that same uh, question. And I'm not sure whether you covered that already, uh, Chris, so I, I don't want to duplicate what you've already said, but um, it's just worth mentioning. Um, so after you've done that, we haven't uh, covered surveys and uh, I was hoping, you know, I know an e-canvasser in the next webinar will be talking in more detail as well about those. Awesome. So let's cover it then. Um, yeah, we'll cover that then then so that we're not uh, repeating ourselves too much. Let me just oh, uh, test scripts. I just want to show you some of the functionality here because I find this really uh, useful. So let's just do the cleanup for now. Okay, so this is where you can, uh, you can either assign agents later, you can assign specific agents, or you can assign all agents. So again, that's useful if you want to segment your list and let people know, you know, I mean, we're talking about municipal campaigns here, so usually you'd only segment them by poll and not by uh, region or province, but uh, that is possible if you're ever working on any other campaign. Um, you can require notes for call ma calls made. I would say probably uncheck that just because you don't want to give the, the caller, um, like, or sorry, the, uh, yeah, the phone banker, you don't want to require them to have to enter in something. Uh, so, Notes are always optional. Um, you can record the phone calls. So just in case you want to make sure that, you know, uh, quality control or if you have a large uh, bank of volunteers who are doing it from home and you want to check in and make sure that the calls are going okay. Or uh, it's also good to record them because then if there was an issue, you're able to go back and, and check that as well. Um, it, it doesn't cost anything extra to record them. So um, I always uh, like to use that. Um, and then you can use your... Um, uh, your existing number uh, or uh, just a no dial in. Dial in is basically um, when uh, um, when agents call the number to join the campaign. And so what you usually do, like what we're doing, uh, for example, is we're just uh, saying no dial in number and we're requiring them to um, log in online and then put in their own phone number and then it'll call them. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, you set your maximum retry. So um, this is how many retries per contact um, that it will make uh, before it gives up on contacting them. Um, so if they, ne if, they, if they don't call up, let's say, if they don't answer within two calls, uh, then uh, it just stops calling them, at least for this particular campaign. Um, time between retries, um, all of this type of stuff you can generally uh, keep, uh, um, keep within you know, the, the default. Um, and then contact type, so you can refresh your contact types. Um, uh, I would suggest not logging it, um, just because Nation Builder has changed their um, their contact types recently. Um, and then you have the power dialer. So uh, there's a predictive dialer and there's a power dialer. Um, I would suggest going with power dialer and auto dialing. Now, um, here's just a brief explanation of uh, what they are. So, oops. Um, 
this is, oh, there we go. So um, with the predictive dialer, uh, basically um, it uses an algorithm to reduce the amount of time that you're waiting. Um, it's better if you have more agents on the, on, on the call uh, for that, um, like more agents at a time. And then you also have power dialer, which allows you to basically go through uh, dialing one at a time, um, which is the traditional, like power dialer is the traditional method. You go through each phone, uh, each contact, you dial them, you see if there's any, uh, you see if there's anybody who picks up, right? Um, now, the great one is the power auto dialing, and that's because it automatically dials uh, the numbers for you, and then um, only the answered calls are connected to the agent. So um, it really saves you a lot of time um, and allows you your your um, you to get through more actual contacts than you know going through an hour and only having two people answer their phone, right? Um, which we generally takes up a lot of the time of, of phone banking. Um, so then you click next after that. So again, you can select when your campaign starts, when your campaign finishes, um, when they are allowed to call. So um, if, you, if you don't want it on Sundays, for example, you can just uncheck that. Um, and then this is the daily operational hour. So what's the difference between these two? Well, this one is when you're actually gonna start. So let's say we're starting today and we're going until um, you know, the 31st of August. Um, then the campaign would run until then. However, it would only run Monday through Saturday, and it would only run, uh, you don't want anybody calling at midnight, so uh, it would only allow people to call from, let's say, 2 o'clock, uh, that's a decent time, uh, although still a bit early, uh, 2 o'clock to your 8 o'clock, or 8.30, right? Um, you could push it till nine if you if you want. I usually try to stop calls by eight thirty because by then everyone's tired anyways, and um, <laughs> uh, and nobody else wants to receive calls between eight thirty and nine. Um, so I usually try to stop them by eight thirty and then just have a fifteen minute powwow with my team to give them some stats around. Hey, you guys made X amount of calls today. Uh, you know, um, you had this much supporters. You had this many lawn signs, etc. And by following up with them. Uh, after the phone bank as well, it gives them an opportunity to see actually how well they're doing. Um, so then you click finish and then you're done. So that you, you know, you've built essentially your first campaign. Um, so, uh, and you're able to edit that at any time. You're able to see the results um, very easily. You can export the results, um, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, lots of capability with Call Hub. Um, again, uh, what I find great about it is that it's affordable, so you don't have to worry about like, oh, this is only for big campaigns or um, uh, or anything like that. Um, you can do phone banking from anywhere. People can do it from their home, uh, which is what we're going to be trying next year for the first time. I've never used it on a municipal campaign that way before, uh, only on provincial, but uh, I think it'll be quite interesting. Um, now the other great thing that I just want to highlight as well before we um, before I end, and I apologize, Chris, if I'm going 100 miles an hour, um, is the store here. Um, I you know if you're if you're a tiny campaign or you haven't built up the resources, whatever it may be, um, it may not be useful to you. But um, uh, there's some things here that might be useful to you. Uh, I haven't really found them useful uh, except for this. So this phone bank analysis. Um, basically, it an, an adult analyzes your entire phone book and removes all the invalid numbers. So all the numbers that are not in service um, are removed from your list, so you don't have to worry about that. And what it also does is it um, determines what's a landline versus what's a mobile uh, line. Um, I haven't fully used this yet because we're in the process of uh, running our first analysis uh, in the next uh, month. But because um, we have a ton of phone numbers in our nation and uh, we need to figure out which ones are still active and which ones are not and which ones are mobile so that we can begin to run mobile based campaigns. But, um, you know, in future sessions or uh, uh, or on, on uh, the Democracy Kit website, I'm, I'm free to provide an update to say, you know, whether it worked or not, how well it worked. Um, but I find that that's a useful tool because it's very hard, especially with phone numbers, especially in Toronto, when we have 
people constantly moving and constantly changing their phone numbers, uh, what numbers are still active, uh, and uh, what numbers are, are mobile and not. Um, so I think that's it for me and the, you know, and Call Hub. That's Hopefully outstanding. Hopefully I provided some detailed information. Um, I apologize if I was ranting too fast. <laughs> no, well, uh, we